and that's fine. Um, but is Rita going to do this uh, herself, or are the committee members now going to contact Rita for access? Well, I think uh, for the for the time being. I mean, we, we collected some information about guidelines and procedures yeah. that other towns had. Right. We haven't had time really to consider them yet, and I think we need to. I think it's a good idea for the town of Stanford to have some policy that governs how our website is run. Um, so I was, I was thinking just to begin with um, that um, to authorize the town clerk and the town supervisor to administer and manage the daily operation and content of the website. Then we can take the next month, um, hopefully at the next town board workshop, we can talk about ideas and write something up that the town board feels um, is adequate for the town of Stanford in terms of, because as you looked at the, um, uh, the town of, uh, I think it was Milan's, um, they, they authorized every chair of a committee to enter things in. I think we would have to discuss whether we wanted to do that or whether you wanted to have another kind of a, of a way of people submitting material and having it approved. Um, maybe having a committee of three people who approve website material or something. Um, I, it, I think it's important because you don't just want to uh, give away the store to, to everybody in terms of entering things onto the website. On the other hand, you want it to be efficient so that the committee chairs can get their committee information onto the website efficiently and quickly. So the, the committee members, I'm, I'm thinking out loud, are actually going to email either you or Rita or both with their recommendations to go on the website, and the approval would come from? At the, mo at the moment, I think. Um, but I don't think it would be committee members. I think it would have to come from committee chairs. I'm sorry, committee chairs. Yeah, I don't, I don't think every committee member, I think it would just get too unwieldy. That way. No, no, I agree. You're right. So. I, I would just recommend, uh, the website is a town document. Um, mm -hmm. It is a, uh, record that is under the Freedom of Information Law, and all of that pertains. So you need to have some care as to what content is being put up there and who has access to change that content. Just as you would from the town board, you do not want to have someone making changes to the town board's information without the approval of the town board. So I think you need to go carefully into this process to decide who's going to be able to do what, and you know, I don't know if you can say, for instance, password protect each page separately, where <coughs> only one person has. I don't know if the you know, the website would have the ability to allow someone to not alter the home page, but only alter, say, the CAC page. I think Jason said. Yeah, we think we had that. Okay. I think I think you can do that. I, I remember Jason saying that too. But these very issues. It's, it's complicated, and there are a lot of details that we really need to think through. It is a municipal website, and we have to be very sure that it's never used for any other Virginia, you know, purpose. Virginia, have you checked with the insurance carrier first what should be on there, what could be on there? The state has guidelines, and yes. Thank you. Um, Bill, have you seen the Milan? Um, I have not. Mark was <coughs> very happy with the Milan one, and so was I, and um, maybe you would be good. I can take a look. I think I might have looked at it for the court schedule, but that's about okay. it. So. Uh, Bill, I just, want, I just want to be clear. So you're saying, for the time being, we should have a committee approve what's going on the website? I, I think Joanna and Tom were actually right, Virginia, on the website committee. I mean, I don't, well, but I just want to make sure I'm understanding what you're saying. Yeah, we're just, on the committee to take a look at to uh, find someone to, to, to find someone I, I just think that the caution that I make is, is that it is a town document. So clearly you right. want to have town elected officials or designated representatives be able to make the changes. You do not want to invite, you know, for instance, a public blog is, is no, no, absolutely no. out, you know, yeah. things like that, a response, the ability for them to post back. I think you, know, you want to be careful in terms of how you uh, limit content getting out of the website. I certainly was not anticipating that. Yeah. Uh, nor, nor do I think Tom was <laughs> continuing simply because we were. No, I see it as more appropriate for uh, the clerk and the supervisor to make that determination until we get something mm -hmm. which may be the same or different in place. And, and we'll put that on the agenda for next month and mm -hmm. the policies and yeah. procedures discussion? Yeah. 
Yes, and I, and I think if we can think about it and even co correspond with each other without being a quorum over the time, um, you know, we perhaps could even get get a written document together. Okay. All right. So by then. All right. Yeah. All right. Just put it on. Um, make sure, we're going to make sure it's on the agenda for the Yeah. Yes. Would it be possible for you, Bill, to, to look at this final thing before our sure. workshop and then let us know what you think of that, since that seems to be our main jumping off point? Sure. Well, there are some other issues that was that was raised by Dover, right. which is much bigger and has an IT person, but, but <clears throat> she had some interesting comments, too, about how their website is run and how they, um, what procedures they have. Um, so I will get that to you. So I'm going to make a motion. Um, if you don't like the wording, uh, let me know. Um, that we will authorize tonight Jason Woodcock to make changes to the town's website as in his proposal so that we simply get that part up and running mm -hmm. and we can get information on it. Um, and that we authorize the town clerk and the town supervisor to administer and manage the daily operation and content of the website. Until policies are put in place. Until policy is put in place, certainly. And this would at least allow us to move forward with Jason's design, which I think is really, really nice and much more informative for the public and much much easier to use. Jason has been having problems for working everything through a bit of the right word there, right? I don't think he would. He said he could do it right away. I'll second that motion. Um, are there any, any other any other comments or discussion about it? Since we've discussed it all ahead of time. Okay. I'm not doing a website, so look good to me. A discerning public. There we go. All right. All those in favor? Okay. Um, okay. Good. In terms of uh, website um, website updates, I did uh, speak correspond with Jason about. I think I put these in your box mm -hmm. about um, the extensions, getting the other extensions. Mm -hmm. um, the price I had given you uh, for buying up the other extensions. Oh, for people uh, for the, for people who are here listening, uh, the suggestion was made that. Our website is townofstanford.org. That it is a good idea, other towns do this, that you purchase domain names that are the same, townofstanford.com, .net, .info, so that anybody who, so that first of all, nobody can create at least one of the obvious names that, and do something nefarious um, that, that might confuse people. Um, and the other, um, the other, uh, issue that, that Jason brought up was that uh, once we have those, once we own them, he can have them um, so that if anybody goes to one of the other websites like townofstanford.com, they will automatically be sent to townofstanford.org. So if somebody doesn't know exactly what the townofstanford.org is, they'll try, you know, .com or .net, which are the very familiar ones, and um, we'll wind up at our website anyway. Yeah. Quick question. Sure. When you buy up those other domain names, do you have to keep paying every year? Okay. Or? You do. You pay for them every year. Um, I tried to buy them. You remember at the, at the workshop I said it was $40? And that was through a site called whois.com. You can go to GoDaddy and buy it for $15 every uh, year. Um, but Jason recommended that we buy them through Network Solutions because that's, they're the owner of our domain name now. Um, yes, and there, and it'll all be easier. They'll all be registered together. If we want, we can always change from network solutions and do something else. Um, network solutions was a little bit more, but um, I um, talked to them for quite some time, and they um, finally said, "Oh, they could give us to us a little bit cheaper. From the, it's going to be like a hundred dollars each, and they got it down to fifteen dollars each."